She's the host of Discovery Home Channel's new series, Tool Belt Diva. Please welcome Norma Valley. Oh! We have got Norma Valley with us, everyone. Here to help us, Norma Valley. Please welcome Tool Belt Diva, Norma Valley. with my five must-have tools and I packed some cannolis and dried sausage in case you get hungry during and the Cannolis sausage? This is <laughs> my kind of tool belt. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. All right, what do we do? What do we do? So wait, 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 so where are you? Who are you? Who, 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 how did you end up being a fix-it lady? You know, living in a house with my Aunt Rosemary, the house is about 100 years old, mm -hmm. no guys around to fix anything, I learned how to fix things. Learned how to fix it. Hey ladies, do you have any lingering projects around the house that you just can't seem to get done? Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to wait anymore. Because with the right attitude and proper tools, you can do it yourself. Today we're at Diane's where she's got some security issues with her windows, locks, and lights. I'm going to show her how to lock this house down. You do it. <laughs> Guys, stick around, because I'm sure there's something you can learn here, too. Hey, divas, get a grip. There's a special glue that can do things regular glue just can't. It's called epoxy. This powerhouse glue can stick metal to glass, wood to ceramic, plastic to wood. You can use it for almost anything. To make a repair, first clean and prep the surfaces you want to glue. Squeeze out the amount you need, mix it together, and apply it to each surface. Then set the pieces together and wipe away any spillover. Next host of the Tool Belt Diva, Norma, welcome. Hi, nice to see you. Great to see you. Now, I want you to walk through some of these tools and give us some ideas of what are the basics we need to know. Okay, well, I just moved into a new place and I found that these are the tools that I kept reaching for. So the first thing that I advise is to have a ratcheting sc screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Okay, ratcheting because it does have to work for you. This looks very familiar to me, Norman. Yeah, this is a utility knife. It's retractable. Um, you're going to use this to cut anything from vinyl tiles to carpeting to wire. Now, I recommend this 16-ounce hammer because it's not too light. You want to ha handle it from, from down low like that so you can right. really swing it right. Swing it right. That's swing it right. Good. How do you like that? It's a big blender, I love it. Actually, it is a blender. Yeah? I took it out of my grandmother's kitchen in Brooklyn. <laughs> she uses this to make cheesecake for the holidays. I love it. Just as another little measure of security, because we talked, if somebody broke in, they could, and didn't have the key, they could still unscrew this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There are these little caps. Mm-hmm. I can suspend gravity for only so long. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> you know what? I think you should. <laughs> Hi, I'm Norma Valley. Welcome to Tool Belt Diva. Today we are in Julie's charming little kitchen, but you seem to have a flooring crisis. You're unbelievable. <laughs> Do you cook? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a great cook. I have a feeling you are. Listen, watch the Tool Bell Diva. She's unbelievable. On the Discovery Hope Channel, Norma Valley. Thank, thank you, you so, so much for much. being here. Thank you. Say hi to Aunt Rose. Hi, Rose Marie. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi. Bye bye. We'll be right back. Okay. You're unbelievable.